Hi friends! Today we are going to do a math lesson. So let's go ahead and start with our calendar like we do every day. So yesterday was Tuesday. So what day of the week would that make today if yesterday was Tuesday? That would make today Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So today is Wednesday. What number is today? It is the 13. And the fancy way to say 13 is the 13th with that TH on the end, 13th. So let's go ahead and say the date together. Ready? Today is Wednesday. May 13th. Great job. Let's add another sticker to our sticker chart over here. Right there. And let's count together. Are you ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 161, 162. Today is 162. It's the 162nd day of school today. So let's go ahead and add another straw over to our straw counter over here. And we added one into our one, so we need to change that to a two. And now we have 162 to match over here. And last but not least, we have our base 10 blocks, which is actually going to be our big part of today. We're gonna to come back to this in a minute. But for 162, we add this guy down here, and now we have one group of 100, we have six groups of 10 to show 60, and we have two ones, 162. Okay, so let's review our problem of the day from yesterday, and then we'll start our lesson for today. So our problem of the day yesterday was Caden, and Caden went on a scavenger hunt around his house. He found a sphere and a rectangle. Draw what he could have found. So I'm gonna think about a sphere. What kind of spheres could I find around my house? Maybe a ball. So I'm gonna draw a soccer ball. Oh man, maybe, maybe a baseball. Baseball would be easier to draw than a soccer ball. But any type of sphere or ball-like object would count. And then we have a rectangle. When I think of a rectangle, I think of books immediately. So I'm going to draw a book. And there's going to be two little people on the front of my book, or maybe one little person and... Nope, we'll do three little people. Why not? And that has a title up top. There we go. There's my picture. A sphere and a rectangle. If you had a different sphere and rectangle, that's completely okay. Completely okay. So, what we're doing today. Today, we are going to work on base 10 a little bit more. And base 10 is a lot like what we learned when we learned about our teen numbers, where it's always a group of 10. Base 10 has to deal with 10s. So, I am going to use our board here that we normally use for calendar pull off the pieces we don't need today and today we're just going to practice quickly identifying base 10 numbers so this is a base 10 number because we have a group of 10 and we have two more so think about that what number is a group of 10 and two more A group of 10 and two more is 12, which is one of our teen numbers. Let's try another one. This time we're going to have a group of 10 and, hmm, how about six more? 
group of 10 and six more. What does that make? Group of 10 and six more. It makes 16. A group of 10 and six more. Let's do another. This time we have a group of 10 and three more. What number do you think it could be? A group of 10 and three more. 10, 11, 12, 13, a group of 10 and three more. That one represents our group of 10 and that three represents our three more. Let's do another. Um, this time I have a group of 10 and one more. Now what do I have? A group of 10 and one more. Ten. A group of 10. One more. I have 11. Now I have a group of 10 and nine more. Sorry, I'm sticking them all on here. There we go. A group of 10 and nine more. What number do I have now? Group of 10. Nine more making 19. So I'm going to do a quick little challenge here. We're going to talk about some numbers that we haven't talked about before with base 10. So instead of staying within our teen numbers, we're going to challenge you to see if you truly get it. So this time, I have two groups of 10. How much do I have now? Two groups of 10. How much do I have? Do I have two? No. Do I have 12? No. I have 10, 20. I have 20. And when we, when we write the number 20, it looks like this. Two groups of 10 and zero more. So we have 20. Now keep that 20 in mind because we are going to stretch it a little. So this time I have two groups of 10 and three more. I left this two up here so you can think about what goes here. Draw a little line there. So I had 20 without those guys, and I added those on. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. And look at that. I have two tens, three ones. That makes 23. Let's try another one here. This time I have five more. Two tens. Five more. Two tenths, five more. So I have twenty five. Twenty five. Two tens, five more. Twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Let's try another one. So I have two tens and eight more this time. Two tens and eight more. How much do I have this time? I have 28 this time. Two tens, eight more. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Let me do one last prop challenge for you, okay? 
this time I have three tens and one more. What number do I have? Three tens and one more. This is a challenge for you. Let's see if you can get it. Ten, twenty, thirty. Thirty one. Three tens. One more. Thirty one. Well, I hope you enjoyed challenging your brain some today. Let's go ahead and do our problem of the day for today. So today is Haley, and Mrs. Arnold ran out of pages in her book, so she's got to go back and use the back of one of these pages that's not too dark since I've been writing markers. Let's use this page. So Haley saw these blocks. How many, or no, how much, how much does it represent? Okay, so I'm going to show you some base 10 blocks, and you have to tell me what number it is. So if I just draw a line, that's equal to one of these guys, a group of 10, okay? So Haley saw these blocks she saw. You know what, I could draw a little rectangle, I guess. Okay, here we go. That's what Haley saw. How much does that represent? So I want you to write what this equals in base 10. That's what Haley saw. One ten and four one, so a group of ten and four more. Write me the number that goes with that, okay? That is the end of our lesson today, and I will see you later. Bye.